In this how to we are going to learn how to update records into the database. For this demonstration I, I, I have created one simple form and naturally I am using the same uh, database table that I was using throughout this uh, edu.net demonstration videos. So here is my edu.net form. Let me delete my old data. Okay and then I am also uh, creating the code behind code now so this is my code behind code I'm just exactly copying pasting I'm just removing all my older code from this page and now let me copy uh, all those methods one by one so here is my page load method I'm going to explain all each and every method one by one so please do not worry about this so this is my page load and then we have one more method called populate the data in edit mode okay I will explain all these codes okay let me first create all these codes here looks like there is some uh, some problem here in this code so I'm just going to rectify these codes so here is some code here yes now we need one more method here called fetch records this will basically populate the record from the database to on the page so here is my fetch records yes and then we have some more method here naturally this is a little more code because updating is a little tricky so please bear with it yes and then the last method is update record as I said I'm going to explain all these methods one by one okay and yes so looks like I'm done some little problem is there in this code and then I'm just rectifying all of them yes so we are done now notice that we will have to use certain more some more namespaces and that name is which is using system.txt because I am do going to use string builder here now my my code is ready first let's talk about ASPX page in this ASPX page we have a HTML table in that table we have a text box called txt first name then another text box called txt last name and then another text box called txt age and then we have a drop active uh, drop down whose item is uh, yes and no two items are there and then we have a button called uh, submit on click of this button we are executing a submit data server side method here is the submit data server side method let me show you this this submit data server side method now let us come to the code behind here there is nothing into this ASPX page now now in the code behind first we have a page level variable called underscore con str that will basically retrieve the connection string of the web.config file and save into the underscore con str variable and then in the page load method or sorry in the page load event under if not is post back what we are doing is that we are first and trying to see whether this page is coming with any query string value or not let us not talk about this let us first come here okay because when the first uh, time this page will be loaded there will, will be no query string I will talk about this later on so when the page will be loaded for the first time naturally this each post back will be 
false so it will directly come here because there will not be any query string and it will execute this fetch records method now in the fetch records method let us go to the fetch records method what is happening is that it is instantiating this data table and then instantiating the SQL connection and then it is uh, executing this select statement where I am retrieving all the records from the personal detail table filling into this data table and then we are using the string builder and we are concatenating all these records from the from the data table and putting it into the or writing it into the label called LBL data we will have to create one label so let us create one label here ASP label ID equal to LBL data run it equal to server enable view state equal to false ok so this is this is it now let us run this page let me close this page and now let us run this page from this beginning so here is my page as you can see because there is no query string here so you can see that it will simply come I'm sorry it will simply come to this particular not each post back because this is this this is not post back and it will not go into this particular block it will simply fetch it will it will simply call the fetch records method and that fetch records method method basically execute the select statement and uh, loop through all the records of the the data table and it will simply write one link called edit link and uh, along with that other record records value so here is my all records of this particular personal detail table with the edit link now what happens is that you can notice that all these edit link notice this status bar here all these edit link have a have a query string called auto id equal to 5 auto id equal to 6 and this uh, 5 or 6 is nothing but the auto id value of this particular record you can see here you can see that this is all 1 2 3 4 1 3 5 6 7 all are auto id value so what I am because I am going to edit this record so naturally I will have to uh, retrieve the, this particular record and populate into this text box then only I will be able to modify those value and then update it so for that purpose what I am doing is that I am I have kept edit link against each record and in that edit link what is happening is that I am passing the auto ID as the query string value now when I will click this link what will happen is that the page will be redirected on the uh, on itself with the query string as auto ID you can see here the see the notice the status bar here we, for example uh, I have mouse over on edit link of for record ID equal to 5 so here you can see that it is default.tspx and auto ID equal to 5 so when I will click this what happens is that it is redirected to the same page with auto ID is equal to 5 as a query string now when auto ID is 5 then what happens is because it is also not uh, post back it is simply redirect with the query string so it comes into this block and it checks whether the query string is null or white space naturally it is not null because this query string value is 5 so it will come into this loop and it will pass the query string value into the integer and it will save that 5 whatever query string value in this case it is 5 into the id uh, variable and i am checking if this id is not is equal to 0 then call this populate the data in edit mode method by passing the id it means that in this case id is 5 so id so 5 will be passed into this method so let us go to this method here now in this method what we are doing is that we are instantiating this data table then instantiating this SQL connection by passing the connection string and then we are uh, executing the select statement where auto id is 5 means we are getting this auto id and we are executing the select statement and filling into this data table and then now because we will have to give all the current uh, uh, columns value into this text box so that user will be able to update it so I am retrieving all the values one by one using the data row and populating into the text box and the drop down and we are changing that button uh, text to update so you can see that all the records has been populated 
sorry all the column values has been populated first name is michael naturally michael and then second last name is sumaker and age is 45 and uh, it is true true means yes now what will and then what we are doing is then we are we are keeping one view state of auto id equal to the id value means in this case it is 5 so view state of auto id will be saved as 5 this view state we are going to use in the uh, when the user will click the submit button so now what will happen is that when we will click update button notice that this uh, button text has been changed to update so that's why it is coming update now so when we will click the update button what will happen this ex submit data server side method will fire so let us go to the submit data server side method here is my submit data server side method now here in this method we are checking if view state of auto id is not null naturally view state of auto id will not be null because uh, we have stored uh, the id uh, value so if view state of auto id is not null then call the update records method so uh, update record method will be called by passing the view state value as the parameter now let us go to the update record method so here is my update record method and in this we have first written uh, value as integer variable where its value has been specified as 0 and uh, then we have uh, instantiated the SQL connection and then we are writing the update SQL statement in this update SQL statement we are uh, setting the values first name last name is an active where auto id is equal to the value the id value that is coming from so in this case 5 is coming from so 5 and then we are uh, creating uh, an array of SQL parameter and naturally it's the size of the array will be 5 because we have 5 parameters here 1 2 3 4 and 5 and we are uh, setting all those values like txt first name txt last name txt is and drop down uh, drop active dot selected value and auto id will be naturally id because that's what we is, is being passed and then we are uh, calling the execute non query method by uh, opening the connection and once the execute non query method has been uh, called then we are simply closing the connection and then because this execute non query method returns the number of rows affected and that was being saved into the return value uh, integer value integer variable so we are checking for that variable if that variable is not equal to zero it means that record has been updated successfully and then we are setting the view state of auto id is equal to null because i am done with the update for that particular record and we are calling the fetch records method again so that the updated record will be listed here let me update this i am writing suma sumakar one as the last name and first name is michael one and is as a four now you can see that this record should change so let me click update and now you can see that michael1 sumaker1 4 and 2 record updated successfully now let me walk through all the steps that we have followed to update the record uh, to, to the database so uh, first what we did we have listed the records on click of edit we are uh, redirecting to the same page with the auto id and using this auto id we are populating the records into the edit mode and then user will up, uh, update the record means pop, uh, write whatever value he want to write in the form and when he will click update then what will happen is using the view state that we had stored here here that is being checked and update record uh, method is being called and that is basically executing the update uh, SQL statement and uh, calling the execute non-query method of the SQL command that is actually going to the database and update